Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. Did you know that all stores strive to maximize upsell opportunities to boost their average order value? For businesses starting out, upselling to increase AOV can make the difference between just breaking even and turning a profit, layering a solid foundation for future growth. And for businesses already thriving, earning $100,000 each month, missing out on upselling could mean losing an extra $10,000 monthly. That's why optimizing your AOV is so vital. By focusing on this metric, you're paving the way for scalable success and ensuring your system generates profit right from the start. Now let's explore the secret to boosting your AOV, Sales Funnels. A sales funnel is a step-by-step -step process that guides potential customers through the journey from awareness to purchase. It's designed to maximize conversions at each stage to achieve the ultimate goals of increased revenue and AOV. So you might be wondering how to create your own sales funnel. Well, look no further than Jim Page's sales funnels. With this new feature, building a high converting sales funnel has never been easier. First in the Jim Page's dashboard, click on the sales funnel tab, then select Create new funnel. You will see two options, one product funnel and post-purchase upsell. Choose the first option to build a complete customer journey with three stages, then click next. Now let's move on to the triggers section. Here you'll decide which products to add for the pre-sale pages at the start of the funnel. After making your selection, click next. For the funnel steps, you can choose from pre-made templates or start from scratch. Once you've made your choice, click Create Funnel. The customer journey will appear, showing each phase. You can then add pages and products as needed. The checkout and thank you pages are set as the default Shopify pages, so you'll only need to add and customize the pre-sale and upsell pages. For the pre-sale page, you can customize it just like a regular product page. For the post-purchase pages, you can offer a single product or multiple products as your upsell first. After selecting your products, the sales funnel will display two scenarios. What happens if the customer accepts the offer and what happens if they decline it? In each scenario, you can offer another upsell or a downsell with different products. This way, no matter what the customer decides, there's always another chance to make a sale. And just like that, your funnel steps are complete. You can also freely customize these upsell or downsell pages. You can also add two buttons, Buy It Now and Decline, which let the customer choose what to do after the first upsell offer. You can set up the second upsell and downsell offers the same way. Once you've completed all the steps, click the Activate Sales Funnel button. A link will appear allowing you to preview the entire sales funnel process from the product page. Now, let's break down the customer journey. One, the customer visits the product page and decides to buy. Two, they proceed to the checkout page and enter their information. Three, upon continuing, the first upsell offer appears. Four, if they accept, they are shown the second upsell offer. Five, if they decline, they see the downsell offer. Six, regardless of the decision at the second offer, the transaction completes, leading to the thank you page. And that's how you can create a complete sales funnel that boosts your AOV with just a few clicks. By following these simple steps, you're setting your business up for success and making sure every customer interaction is optimized for maximum revenue. This is the end of the video in the Gem Pages 101 series. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on all notification bell to learn more fundamental tips and advice to build a store that sells. Thanks for watching.